Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villa Real, and today we're going to be talking about the NHL, and we're going to be talking about the 10 teams that can win the Stanley Cup this season. We're about a month into the season, and I think that only 10 teams have a realistic shot at winning the Stanley Cup, and we're going to be talking about all 10 of these teams that can win the Stanley Cup today. Now, this list is in no particular order. These are just the 10 teams that I think can win the Stanley Cup this season. Let's get things started with number one, the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Number one, they have proven that they can win the Stanley Cup as they did it just this past season. Number two, they are a very good team defensively and good defense can lead to a lot of wins, can lead to championships, and the Lightning are one of the best defense teams in the NHL. But what they need to do, if they really want to win the Stanley Cup, is they need to add a top 10 scorer. Right now, they do not have a top 10 scorer in points or in goals. And so I think that one move that would make a lot of sense for the Tampa Bay Lightning is to go out and get Kopitar from the Los Angeles Kings, I think that this move makes sense because they could give the Kings first round picks in return and the Kings are looking to rebuild anyway. So I think that that would be a good move for the Lightning to make. Number two, the Florida Panthers. They have no regulation losses this season. They only have one overtime loss this season. They are one of the best teams record-wise in the NHL at the moment. And they have very good goaltending. Chris Drieger is a top 10 goalie in both save percentage and in goals against. He's top 10 in both of those categories. Now, what the Florida Panthers need to do to win the Stanley Cup is they just need to continue this level of play. And we've seen teams like the Buffalo Sabres a few years ago had a 10-game winning streak were on top of the NHL standings and then failed to miss the playoffs that year. And I think that the Panthers can be... A team like that if they fall off and they don't continue this level of play florida has never had this level of success at all in its franchise's history so i'm a little bit skeptical to say that the florida panthers are stanley cup contenders but at this moment in time they are now if they continue this level of play they definitely can win the stanley cup and that's what they need to do is continue to play the way that they have been to start the season moving on to number three the columbus Blue Jackets, number one, they're one of the best coach teams in the NHL, and good coaching can do a lot for a team. They've also had some previous postseason success. Two years ago, they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round. They knocked off the Toronto Maple Leafs this past season, and they have had some success in the postseason. Also, they have proven this year that they are aggressive in the trade market as they went out and they got Patrick Line a few weeks ago, and so... Columbus, they have proven to be an aggressive team and a well-coached team. I think that is a good combination. Now, what they need to do is they need to get better defensively slash goaltending-wise. Now, they do have a very good goaltender in Corpus Salo, but I think they need to trade for a good backup goalie because they do have a minus four goal differential, and you cannot have a minus goal differential if you want to win the Stanley Cup. You need to have a positive goal differential, in my opinion, and that's really what the Columbus Blue Jackets need to worry about is getting that goal differential up. One way to do it, get a better backup goalie for Corpus Salo. And if they do that, then I think that they definitely are contenders for the Stanley Cup. Moving on to number four, my preseason pick to win the Stanley Cup, and that is the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, they have a good goalie duo, in my opinion, James Van Riemdijk. He is a top scorer in the NHL. Philadelphia, they are tied for being at the top of the NHL standings. Now, what they need is they need Carter Hart to play to his potential because they do have a good one-two punch for goalies. But Carter Hart has had his moments this year. He's had some bad moments, but he's also had some good moments. And if Carter Hart can play to his potential, then I think the Philadelphia Flyers will win the Stanley Cup. But if he does not play to his potential, then Philadelphia may have some problems. Moving on to number five, the Washington Capitals. They are also tied for the top of the standings. They're tied with the Flyers. They have a lot of veterans on their team that have won. They have guys like Alexander Ovechkin, TJ Oshie, Brandon Shara. They have experienced veterans. Now, if I was the Washington Capitals, I would add more experienced veterans at the trade deadline. And I think that Washington's experience 
can really help them go far in the playoffs and maybe even win another Stanley Cup. Moving on to number six, the Boston Bruins. They probably didn't make the Stanley Cup this past season because they did lose Rask, their goalie, in the bubble. He had a kid and he left the bubble. Now, he is back, and so with him back, I definitely think that Boston is one of the better teams in the NHL. They have a plus 10 goal differential. They're good on both offense and defense. Now, what they need to do is they need to win their division games because they have both Washington and Philadelphia in their division, and currently they're third in the division. If they win these divisional games, they can get home field or home ice advantage in the playoffs, I think that's going to be crucial is being able to play at home, especially because I think by the time that the playoffs roll around, there are going to be fans in all stadiums across the NHL. And so I think that getting home at home ice advantage is going to definitely be a big factor for if the Boston Bruins can become successful and can win the Stanley Cup. Moving on to number seven, the Minnesota Wild. They have shown the ability to win close games, and they do have a good defensive duo. Jonas Brodin and Matt Dumba, both top 10 in goals for defensemen. And they also have a very good rookie in Kaprikov. And he is he's only going to get better with time. And so Minnesota, they have the pieces to be good. But I think they need better forwards, and they need to trade for better forwards at the trade deadline if the Minnesota Wild are serious about winning the Stanley Cup. Moving on to number eight, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're probably the most talented roster in the NHL. Mitch Marner's top 10 in points and Austin Matthews is top 10 in goals. But they need to prove that they can win in the playoffs. The Leafs always find a way to collapse in the playoffs. And if they can have success in the postseason, if they could play the way that they play in the regular season, but play in the postseason like that, then the Toronto Maple Leafs definitely can win the Stanley Cup. It just comes down to executing and playing good in the playoffs playing good when it matters most that's what toronto struggles with but if they can't find a way to play good in those big games and play good when it matters most then they definitely are one of the best teams in the nhl and probably can win the stanley cup moving on to number nine the montreal canadians i think that montreal definitely a threat to win the stanley cup because they have the best goal differential they have a plus 15 Goal differential. They have a great goalie duo, and Carey Price isn't even leading the way for them as a goalie. So having Carey Price as a backup, when that's your backup goalie is Carey Price, then I think that that definitely is a dangerous thing for other teams. Jake Allen is a pretty good starter for the Montreal Canadiens, and they definitely are a scary team on the defensive side. But also Tyler Toffoli, he's top ten in goals. Petri. Leads defensemen in goals. And Jake Evans is top 10 in goals for rookies. So they definitely have guys that can score on the ice. Now they need to. Now if the Montreal Canadiens want to win the Stanley Cup. They need to play the way they did last postseason. Last postseason we saw the formula for success for the Montreal Canadiens. Was have great goalies. Have a great performance from Carey Price. Have great goaltending play. But then also scoring clutch goals. Getting goals when you need goals. Scoring when you need most, we saw Petri come up with some big goals. And the Montreal Canadiens, they are able to beat teams like the Pittsburgh Penguins in the bubble just due to the fact that they played great on defense, their goalies made a lot of saves, and they scored when they needed to. Now, if they could do that in this postseason, then they definitely can win the Stanley Cup. And the final team that I think can win the Stanley Cup, in my opinion, is the Vancouver Canucks. Number one, they have, in my opinion, the MVP of the NHL and Brock Besser. Now, they also have a talented roster around Brock Besser. Obviously, they have Brock Besser. They have Elias Patterson. They have Bo Harvett. They have Quinn Hughes. They have a very young and talented roster. And they also had a little bit of postseason success last season. And this is important because a lot of teams, a lot of young teams, before they actually do win the Stanley Cup, they they kind of show flashes in the, in the season before. Like what the Blackhawks did in 2009. They didn't win the Stanley Cup, but they had some postseason success. And then look what they did the very next year. They won the Stanley Cup. I think Vancouver can be the same situation. I think that they can win the Stanley Cup. Now, how they do it is they need Brock Besser, their superstar, their MVP, the MVP of the league, in my opinion, to step up and play great. Because the reason why I think he is the MVP of the NHL is just due to the fact 
that when he scores, the Canucks win. But when he doesn't score, the Canucks struggle to win. And having Brock Besser score gives them the best chance to win. Having Brock Besser get points, get assists, gives them the best chance to win. If Brock Besser can continue to get points, continue to get assists and goals, then the Canucks can, can continue to win. And they can continue to win in the postseason. And, you know, I think they definitely are a team that, their young team, a lot of people are sleeping on them. But do not sleep on the Vancouver Canucks. Because I think that they can win the Stanley Cup. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content. And I will see you all in the next video.